in the heart of Central Texas lies a facility of tomorrow. So welcome to the Waco uh, SNDC. Uh, this building was totally transformed in September of 2023, where we integrated multiple offices into one delivery unit to help provide efficiency with transportation and the customer needs. As the world turns to digital automation, the United States Postal Service has adopted new technology to support growing demands in facilities like this one, a sorting and delivery center in Waco, Texas. We're the only agency that can physically touch every address in America. And we take pride in that every day, right? We started at six days a week, now we're at seven days a week with other shippers such as Amazon, Walmart, Target. But what happens to mail once you send it out? Today, we'll take a look at what happens behind closed doors at one of the largest and newest USPS S and DC facilities in the country. A center that manages the transportation of letters, notices, and packages from across the country into Central Texas neighborhoods. Welcome to How Stuff Works, a digital series that takes a peek inside everyday businesses. Before automation and digital technology, everything that ran through USPS facility was touched by hand. Employees worked hard and long hours to ensure that any sort of mail was delivered. There were no apps and there was no way to track your package. In 2025, the USPS continues to focus on efficiency and being as reliable as ever with the help of newer and newer technology. There's 600,000 employees in the United States Postal Service and we all work together to get it delivered the most efficient way possible to the customer. Hence the PMG's uh, Delivery for America plan that we started five years ago that we're halfway through, which brings us this glorious building. The latest machines provide incredible speed. Well, you have to think about it. If it runs 5,000 packages an hour, it's reading 5,000 addresses an hour and sorting those into 118 different routes in this facility. And it happens in a split second. USPS drivers spend all day on the road, door to door in small and big cities, often with dozens of packages in their truck. So this is built um, for us by one specific company. Um, so they're to our spec, right? So you can see this is a monitor up here, which gives you the 360 view. So the carrier can see what's around them at all times. Right? It's a great safety aspect that we didn't have in the past. Right? We, if you look at the older vehicles, they'll have these pop mirrors on everywhere, but that only shows you so much. Anything is challenging in an operation this big, right? So in this facility alone, we typically have almost 300 employees. We have almost 200 vehicles in the back, right? We have customers up front. Um, we have a VMF facility in the back, which is, handles all the maintenance of the vehicles. So there's 100 things going on at one time, but I'm fortunate enough to have a team here that each does their job extremely well, which takes a little bit of pressure off of me because there's no way one person can run this place by themselves. Ninety-nine percent of all, everything we have has a barcode which is great because everything can be tracked to where it was last or where it's going or, or whatnot. So if that ever happens, we have a good success rate of finding any packages. You mentioned the thing about the barcode, if, if someone uses two different barcodes, right? We can take that information, talk to our counterparts at the plant or, and see where it went. So maybe it went to Oklahoma. We can talk to that plant manager or that postmaster and then always say, hey, can you grab this package for me? Because the machine takes pictures of labels. So they, they're not just looking for a barcode, they can see what it looks like. Yeah. So we have a great success rate of doing that. With automation, things do happen when you're handling a billion pieces a day. Don't wait till the last minute. Especially during Christmas, um, the Postal Service puts out a scheduling to, um, for different classes of mail of when to get it in by, so it's delivered before the Christmas time or Christmas season. Um, so they're real good about that. As soon as that Black Friday hits, that following week is really when, when the party starts. Well, that's it for this episode of How Stuff Works. You learned about one of the newest United States Postal Service sorting and delivery centers in the country and how it will help transport your mail, package, or other item to your home. And in doing so, how mail is moved all around the country, honing in on technology and automated services. The United States Postal Service looks to continue to adapt to the latest trends and the needs of Americans. Till next time, I'm Michael Mazuka, 
and this is how stuff works. 